Hey everybody, in this video um, I want to talk about uh, my sampling here. I'm, I'm out on the river today and uh, I've got a couple of examples of um, what I've been doing. Um, I'm trying to address some questions and comments that I've had from my subscribers and from the, the guys that have bought my ebook. I really appreciate all those comments and thank you again for buying my ebook. Um, I've been out on the river today and I'm exclusively looking for float gold and uh, gold that's been in storm layers and I'm focusing on sandbars, gravel bars, little islands, um, gravel patches, things like that. Things that uh, look like uh, last storm had settled and uh, placed um, some float gold. I'm, I'm just going to go in there and sample and do my uh, do my work and, and make uh, sure something's uh, in there before I start getting crazy with it. But uh, I want to show you this pan of gold. This is a, a sample that I, I did earlier and you'll see that there's a, a decent amount of gold in here. I personally think that this is a, a high quality sample and I'm going to bring my, my equipment back and I'm going to focus on this area and, and get the rest of this uh, streak out of here, this little streak of float gold. So, my last video I was talking about overburden and how much material you have to remove in order to get to the gold. Now today I'm primarily focusing on float gold and the storm layers, the easy deposits. Now I had to get rid of very little overburden and that was great for me and I focus specifically on the easy stuff uh, most of the time. So. Um, that's it for today really I, I just wanted to show you what I was doing and uh, this sample and you could do it too if you follow the system man it's it's not that bad and it works out great if you uh, haven't seen my book yet you could click on the link below and it'll take you right to it it'll help you um, please leave comments and let me know what you think I really want to help everybody be productive uh, miners thank you